All right, so now let's uh, let's uh, take a few minutes to analyze this. Yeah. All right, we have C, C major 7, C7, F. So basically, again, we have a line. And there it is. That's that's blues line. Okay. <laughs> In this case, it's traveling to the F chord, so it's, it's disguised. Okay. You see, it's buried inside of the progression. Um, so, when we get to the C major 7, and then finally the C7, this is acting as the dominant 7th chord that goes to F. In the key of F, the dominant 7th chord is C7. Okay. So, it's a, you can think of it as a little bracketed moment of the key of F. We have a D7, which is the dominant 7, which leads of the key of G, so now we have a brief moment of the key of G. Alright. Okay. Now here, we have A minor, and again a line. And you can see it visually. Right. Uh, the name of the second chord, this is A minor. This is called A minor major 7. Okay. All right. It's a fancy name. It's because between the distance of the root and this extra fancy note, if I were to do it up, uh, do it up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, except mm -hmm. it's a, a raised 7th. It's, it's, all right. Oh, They're used man. in jazz, you know, that sort of sound. Uh, mm -hmm. That was wrong, but... Uh, that's yeah. a minor major 9 chord. Yeah, a dissonance that's in, involved yeah. in the chord. But of course, since this is moving, the ear is anticipating the next move. And this, all right, uh, this is an A minor 6 is the best way to describe it. This is an A minor chord, and if I were to count up 6 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that note is an F sharp. Mm -hmm. We put it in the lower octave. And then finally to an F. And then, all right, that that's a that's a little trick that's called mixing modes, or are we mixing modes here? What are we doing here with the E flat in relation to C? Well, this goes in the category of the wandering major chords I've talked about. Okay. You know, but uh, let's see, how can I think of this? Oh, okay. One way to think of how the E flat major, this is an E flat major chord, how does it relate to the key of C, right? Okay. Well, if I turn the key of C to the key of C minor, all right, so we're sharing a root now, and then I went to C minor's relative major, the key it comes from, I get E flat. Okay. So there's a connection there. There is, okay. This kind of thing happens a lot with the Beatles and, and with a lot of good pop writing. All right. Okay. So it it lends because it's out of key, but somehow related. It it has a spicy effect, but not overwhelmingly so. Right. All right. So we do the da 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 da, da and then we connect to the next verse. Then we go um, da 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 next verse da da. Right. So now we have an A. Now we have this uh, scalar line, different from a chromatic line. Before we were dealing with. Um, uh, this this one, um, which is a chromatic line, and then the A minor also a chromatic line. There are two kinds of lines, chromatic and scalar. The one coming up is scalar. So we have against the A chord, we're going da 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 da. So we have A to get our second scale note. We turn this into an A major seven. We're by the way we're in the key of A now, so we're using notes okay. from the key of A. The next scale step. This is Do T Do T La Sol Fa. So this is Do T is thrown into the A chord. Mm -hmm. Then we go to an F sharp minor chord, which is the sixth chord of the key of A. Okay. Then F minor seven to get this note. So we're basically extending the F minor to add an E to it. Then we naturally flow down the scale steps to a D note, and we get the D chord. So we're predominantly we're we're in C. Not anymore. Not on the bridge. No, but but I mean, in terms of 
how many how many keys have we dabbled in going through? Uh, not well, not just one note things, but I mean where we've been in some st things for a little while. Key oh, A oh, for a while. Just just A and C. That's just all. A and C. Okay. We, we've had these bracketed little key changes. They're not. They don't sit around long enough to be really a key change because the ear is expecting movement right. to the back okay. to a, a key a chord from the key. All right. There we go. All right. So we have that line. Now we get a G, which is unusual. All right, mm -hmm. and this is called mixing modes. Okay. And A Ionian, which is AKA A major, the basic A major. Um, uh, if I went down a half step, oh God, how do I form this chord? It's such a pain in the assy chord. Um, if I went down a half step in the key of A major to form a chord there, I'd get a G sharp diminished chord. Okay. Okay. But in A Mixolydian, if I went down to the seventh step, I'd get a G major chord. Okay. All right, so that's called mixing modes because we're definitely in Ionian here. I mean, we've got the scale laid out for us. You can right. hear. But then we get that G and adds a color change. That's barred from the A Mixolydian scale. Okay. All right. A Mixolydian. Mixolydian refers to the fifth step of a key, right. okay, where the dominant seventh chord would lie. So basically, um, this action that happened G to A is a temporary movement into the key of D. Okay. All right. A Mixolydian is the key of D, okay. starting on the A note. Right. Make sense? Yep. And then, beautifully, you know, he does the same thing. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I love this. This is probably McCartney side. Ah, uh, sorry. You see where this becomes a lion fest, like I said. Yeah. And there is a really obvious line, and all they're doing is going chromatic just against that A chord. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's playable on guitar. You know, if you bar your A, you have your A note open here. Then you get your A flat, G, F sharp. Then what they do is, um, um, stick around now with me show, I don't know, I, now this is really brilliant, and this is very typical of Beatles music, this G, instead of acting as like a Mixolydian chord in the key of, uh, from the key of D, and A Mixolydian being root, this G is acting the five chord going, bringing us back home to C. Okay. Right? Brilliant. That's really... Huh. That's something that the Beatles, uh, Brian Wilson, people like that, really, really had mastered. Um, so, um, and and to follow, in other words, we had a theme when we first went... We had this... So when we get to the C, the ear is kind of waiting for something similar. Okay. And what they do instead is a scale line. Uh, second time around... I can't do, I, I, mm -hmm. well, I have to do it in a higher octave, but it's like, um... Mm -hmm. So it, it follows, skips the F, and so it's do, do, ti, la, sol, mi, re, do, without a fa in there. Okay. Uh, that, that is wonderful. It's really oh, sweet. Man. The solo, uh, he definitely crafted to follow the chord changes. That note is from the C7 chord. We're still on a C here, but then he dies all the way down here, up here, for the D7. Now, it's actually, he's outlining a D chord. And here's our G. I love this. It's kind of a blue note in a way. And that's Harrison's always had a penchant for these sour little moments. See, he yeah. really loved that sort of thing. This thing. That's all based on the A minor. And our lick. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, as Frank Sinatra said, one of his favorite Lennon McCartney songs. 
uh, uh, but Lennon McCartney had nothing to do with it. <laughs> and I remember Paul going, thanks, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for something. That's a You're nice, right. concise little breakdown of the whole thing. Well, that's a good one. We've uh, been with Vinnie Caggiano for the short lesson, Beatles, uh, with a really nice song. Uh, interesting, some interesting stuff on guitar and everything like that. So it's been a good Friday. Quick advertisement, please stay tuned for the Venice Roasters. So hopefully I'll get this video up before our show, but we're playing at the uh, uh, Venice Santinos on Windward and Pacific okay. on Saturday, uh, Thursday, the 15th, probably around 9 o'clock or so. And we've got like a whole slew of new stuff. We're doing Sir Duke by, uh, ah. by Stevie Wonder, and it is awesome, man. Just makes people happy for no reason. No it's great. kidding. That's yeah. going to be a great tune for you guys. And, and we're doing the first three songs from Sgt. Peppers, which try to be very interesting ah. and roasted. Yeah. Do watch them on Facebook, and if, you know, friend them, or do whatever you have to do uh, so you can get a look at what they do. Thanks. Okay.